So in this video, I'm going to answer a question that I get asked a lot, and it's why I used to edit and create my videos. I've answered this in other videos before, but not in that great detail. This is going to be a totally dedicated video. So first off, we're going to start with the software I use to capture my screen for videos like this, uh, my tutorials and whatever. The software I use is actually Camtasia Studio 7. It might change by the time you're watching this in the future to something like 8 or 9. I'm not sure. But you can download a free trial for around 30 days. Like, that's pretty standard with other software. Or you can upgrade if you have an older version to 115 pounds. I'm not sure that what is in dollars, so I'll probably put that at the bottom of the screen. Uh, if you want to buy an individual copy, it's 230 pounds and 50 pence. That's including value-added tax for a multi-user copy. It's 192, including tax. If you can't afford that, you can always use a free open source uh, screen capture software called Cam Studio. I believe it's called, which is this exactly basically the same as Camtasia Recorder, which comes with Camtasia Studio. There's also Snagit as well, which is by the same people as Camtasia. For games, I think it's pretty universal that everyone uses Fraps. It costs $37, not sure what that is in Great British Pounds, I'll put it at the bottom of this screen. So, but if you haven't got the money for that, a free alternative is probably Xfire. But I've never used Xfire before, so I can't tell you the performance. I've heard it's pretty bad compared to Fraps. For video editing, I use Sony Vegas Pro 10. It's going to set you back around £494 and 95p. I'm not sure what that is in US dollars or anything. Again, at the bottom. If you can't afford that, there's always a pirate on the bay that says you can get it free without a fee, but that's totally illegal and I don't really condone it. There's loads of free and open source alternatives for Windows, Mac and Linux. You just have to look because there are so many to list. Sometimes it's good to create your own graphic for a video or you might need to incorporate some Photoshop element into a video that you make. Adobe Photoshop CS5 Extended It's going to cost you around $999 for the full version and around $349 for the standard upgrade. If you haven't got the money to afford that you can always use GIMP Shop, which is a free and open source piece of software. It's compatible with Linux, Windows, and OS X, I believe. Not sure. If you're curious about the mic I'm using right now, I've got an unboxing for it on my channel. It's a Samsung Go mic, USB clip on portable condenser mic that sets you back around 30. Seven pounds, I believe, and forty-seven dollars US. I'll leave all the links to the software I've talked about and whatever in the underbar or description, whichever you want to call it. So I hope this answers questions. Until next time, thank you for watching and goodbye.